Hey y'all, so what we're gonna be talking about today is gift giving and more specifically, is gift giving good for us or not? So gift giving is a huge part of most cultures in the world, whether it be during religious holidays, such as like the holidays that come about in winter, like Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, etc. Um, or like for anniversaries, birthdays, basically we give gifts a lot. It's sort of a cultural expectation at multiple different points of the year. And I just kind of want to delve a little bit more into the psychology behind it and whether or not it's good for us mentally. And if it is, how can we sort of incorporate that into our lives a little bit more? So gift giving definitely has some psychological benefits to it. And actually, according to PhD psychologist Devin Bird, this sort of psychological boost that it gives us starts with the whole act of even picking out the gift. There's something about figuring out the need of the person and then like searching to meet the need that boosts our endorphins and makes us feel happy. And this good feeling does not stop there. So a Harvard study actually found that when they looked at people who received money and people that gave money, the people that gave money actually felt happier. They did another study where they had people call upon memories of a time they've given a gift and then they had a group that like didn't do that and the people that actually took the time to call upon the memory of giving the gift were happier than the people who didn't. So giving gifts and taking the time to remember when we have given gifts can boost our mood. Even more interestingly, giving gifts has been shown to stimulate a part of our brain that is related to social facilitation, which means like the part of the brain that helps us bond with people. And so giving gifts actually makes it easier to bond with people, to connect. Um, so giving gifts is a really important part of deepening relationships, which sort of explains why it's a part of so many cultures over such a long time period. So therefore, giving gifts is good for our mental health and we should give gifts. We should give gifts to people who are in relationships with, friendship, family, dating, whatever it may be. This is going to help boost our mental health. This is going to make us feel happier. This is gonna facilitate social connection. Um, but like, who can afford to give gifts all the time? So I have a couple different options, right? There's things that we can do for people that are inexpensive and cheap, but are gonna give us that same mental booth, are gonna show that person that we care. It's gonna help facilitate those social bonds, but it's not gonna break the bank. So my first suggestion is to bake somebody something. So this could be the traditional baked goods, right? Like cookies, brownies, whatever. Or it could even be like a little more creative, like making them pasta sauce or salsa. And if you do have a few extra bucks to spend, you could even go to the dollar store and get some mason jars, make it more presentable and cute. So that's something super thoughtful, but it's really inexpensive. I mean, you could make a whole like batch of pasta sauce, like that you can split it up between like 10 people for probably less than $20. Another option is instead of buying a gift at all, you could just suggest to your friends that you guys go out and do something. So whether it's go see a movie or go bowling or even just have a game night at your house where you're already on the games, something cheap where you guys can split the cost is going to give them that same message that you care and it's still gonna give you that feeling of having not, it's still gonna give you that good boost because you were the one that facilitated making the plan. So you are sort of giving them that. And genuine people are probably going to appreciate good memories and quality time with you more than they would appreciate a gift anyways. Another option is to hand make gifts. So if you have any artistic talent at all, this is going to be perfect for you. You can write or draw a picture. You can write notes or you can write poems or short stories for the person. You can make them a craft if that's something you're into. I like origami, so I like would maybe make people origami figurines of their favorite animal or something like that. You can take a really cherished picture or a letter that they're like loved one wrote them and frame it something like that it's once again still a gift but it's obviously cheaper and something handmade usually means a lot to a genuine person more than something store-bought right you took the time to do that for them you took the time to put your talent and skill and time and hard work into something and that means way more than just going to the store and picking something out not that that isn't meaningful as well. So another option is acts of service. And this is a really, really good option for like your family members, like to give this to your parents. You can like offer to run errands for them, clean the house, cook dinner, do their laundry, whatever else they want you to do, go wash their car. You could even make like a little coupon book with all of those things that they can like cash in throughout the year. This is obviously free and you know, adults would love that. If it's not your parents, if it's like family friends or something, maybe you could offer to babysit their kids for free, anything like that. Anything, it's not gonna cost you something, it's not gonna cost them something, it's perfect. What gift giving is at the core is altruism. So altruism is right when we do something for someone else without expecting something equal in return or even expecting anything at all in return. And altruism makes us feel great because we're helping somebody else and because we're helping somebody else and most of us are decent people, it makes us feel good. Um, so it's sort of a win-win situation. And so another way to get that altruistic feeling that is so good for our mental health 
is to give time. So this can mean giving time with our family and friends, but this can also mean giving time by doing volunteer work. So one of my goals in the new year is to be starting to volunteer more. My personal goal is twice a month, and I would challenge anybody who watches this to also make that a goal of theirs. It doesn't have to be twice a month. It can be whatever works for you. But to go out and start doing volunteer work, this is good for the community. This is good for your mental health. It's good for the planet. And in times like these, what more could we possibly need? So thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, bye y'all.